Hello, my name is Alison and I am one of two sixth form chaplains. Normally, I would have, have an opportunity to come into school and meet you. But as times are not normal, here is a video. I am the Chichester University chaplain and I've been working at the university for three years. One of the things I enjoy doing in my job here is talking to people about prayer and helping them develop their own prayer life. Because one of the things I have learnt over the years is that lots of people of all ages think that they don't know how to pray or that in some way they are doing it incorrectly. As if there is a special way to pray which some people know and somehow they don't. The first thing to remember is that all prayer and all desire to pray is a response to God's initiative. We respond to God because God has first approached us. Prayer at its simplest is about intentionally being in relationship with God giving space for that relationship to develop and to deepen, being open to hearing what God wishes for us. Prayer often starts very simply as a desire to help people who we can't help in any other way. If we are worried about our friends or family, we might ask God to help them to give them peace of mind or a way through difficulties, confident that God can change things and does. This sort of prayer could be called an arrow prayer. Our friend comes into our thoughts and we direct our prayer to God and then we move on. In the same way, we might thank God for the beautiful sunset or a good night's sleep. We send the prayer up and then we move on. Of course, lots of people pray in a more regular way. If you look at the shelves behind me, you will see lots of books. Many of those are about prayer, books to use for prayer, books of prayers, books on ways to pray and books of reflections on what prayer is. But you don't need any of them. All that you need is a desire to be intentional in responding to God and in sharing with God the thoughts of your mind and heart. The Church of England website has a good app called Join Us in Daily Prayer. This gives a variety of readings and prayers for different times of the day. It is a really useful starting point, so why not have a look? Thank you.